In this problem, we've been given the graph of a function with some labeled points. In this case, we have a quadratic function. I see that we have a parabola that's open down. We've been given two x-intercepts labeled. That's negative 5, 0 and 15, 0. We've been given the y-intercept labeled, 0, 7.5. And we've been given the very peak point, the maximum point, called the vertex, and that's 5, 10. In this problem, we'd like to identify the viewing window that's being used. We can use the points that have been given to us to help us identify what viewing window this is. Let's start with the x-axis. I see that we have been labeled negative 5. It looks like our graph is hitting right at that tick mark at x equals negative 5. And of course, the y-axis passes through where x is equal to 0. And then we have another tick, tick, tick. And again, our graph seems to be passing right through this tick mark where x is equal to 15. And then a tick at this end and a tick at this end. We see that this spans from x equals 0 up to x equals 15. And it's broken into three equal segments. So a length of 15 divided up into three equal segments. It must be the case that each tick mark is five units apart. So here is a length of five. Another length of five brings us up to 10. Another length of five brings us to 15. And another length of five brings us up to x equals 20 at the far right side. If we go backwards, here's x equals negative 5, like we said before, and here's x equals negative 10. So in this way, we've found the viewing window for the x's, the x min, the x minimum, the lowest x we see on this graph, is negative 10. The x maximum, the highest x we see on this graph, is positive 20. And x scale, which is the distance between the x tick marks, is 5. Each x tick mark is 5 units apart. Now we'll do the same thing for the y scale and the y min and max. We see we have a tick, tick, tick on the y's. This time, my graph does not seem to hit right at the y tick marks. It seems to pass right in between these two tick marks. Here is a height of y equals 7.5. That's the y-intercept. And we also have this y labeled. It's the vertex. It has a y value of y equals 10. The height of the graph right there is 10. And notice that that one pretty much lines up with this y tick mark. So I'm going to say that this tick mark is at a height of y equals 10. This one seems to be halfway in between, so I would say it's y equals 5. So 5, 10, and then the next one must be 15. Going backwards, the x-axis occurs where the y is equal to 0. Going backwards again, this would be negative 5, and this would be negative 10. So we found that the lowest y value the y minimum is y equals negative 10. The highest y value, the y maximum, was y equals 15. And the tick marks on the y-axis are 5 units apart. So y scale is 5.